holiday cocktails, take two. So today we're gonna make one of my favorite cocktails of all time, which it's actually funny that it's my favorite cocktail of all time that grandma's here, because my grandma's in the house today, and grandma made me love this drink, because grandma would actually make these for you when you were sick. Like that's when you were 20 children. If you were wondering where grandma is. Yeah, they're in a really yeah. extreme wrestling match right extreme now. Extreme wrestling match. Except Which is impressive because my daughter is quite a bit smaller than young Henry. And yet, Dayton made Henry cry first. He's the first one to cry. Uh oh. Pause for extremely loud crying. <laughs> He ran into the couch, which is, you know, a hard lesson to learn. Everyone's going to cry now. Okay, you know what? Who won't be crying? No. You. If you make this cocktail Thanksgiving morning, because if your house looks on a regular basis anything like my house, and then you add hosting Thanksgiving or making food for Thanksgiving or having to, like, be around people for the extended amount of time that is Thanksgiving. Yeah, beyond the people that you're always around. Yeah, and you don't want to be Extra around people. them. And there's, like, weird uncles and stuff. I shouldn't make that that gender. There's weird aunts, too. Yeah, super weird aunts. Yeah, I mean, there's I mean, we don't weird. have any. We love Not all us. of our aunts. We love aunts. all our aunts and uncles. <laughs> all of them. But some people, we hear about it, and it doesn't sound good. So this drink is the drink to be made Thanksgiving morning. Like, if you want to be the person who goes to yoga on Thanksgiving morning, I used to be that person. I did. Or, like, you go and play a uh, football turkey game. We do that, a turkey bowl. Yeah, we do, like, a turkey bowl. But this is for right after that. Or if you're not going to turkey bowl, you you're just going to sit on your couch, which is... And wait for your turkey to be done. Also fantastic. This is the drink you make. So it's, like, you know, like a 10, 11 a.m. or... Go for it. 8.30? You do you. I mean, you've been up since whatever. Six, making that, putting that turkey, turkey in, right? You based it or whatever. I don't know. You're not gonna be I never until, like, make nine. the turkey. And if we do, we deep, we deep fry it. Yeah, that's faster, yeah. faster, and delicious. Okay, Allows so this is that cocktail. Anyway, long intro. Long intro. This is a hot toddy, and hot toddies are my favorite. My grandma's been making these since as long as I can remember for people when they come over to her house. If they're like, I have a cold, she'll be like, hot toddy. Yeah, so don't care of cure everything. Off. Yeah, so. Stomachache, toddy. <laughs> This is toddy. <laughs> Old Log Cabin Bourbon by Batch 206 Distilling, and you can see it's almost done because it's one of my favorites. I love this stuff, and I love bourbon in general. I love old fashions, and I love hot toddies, and this is my go-to. And go you love log. old cabins. I do love old log cabins. That's true. I don't know how that relates exactly right now. That's the name. But yeah, but it's not like I'm drinking it in an old log cabin. That would be preferable. That's really where I'd like to be right now and on Thanksgiving. But you're going to start with this, and you're just going to pour two ounces into your cup. Make it a heavy glass cup or even a mug, nice toasty mug, and then that kind of disguises what you're doing, too, if it's a mug. I'm not trying to give you tips on being an alcoholic, but, <laughs> okay. but I'm just saying, but I take it girl. if you have someone nosy who's like, what are you doing in the morning, then put it in, put it in a mug. mug. Okay, but the reason being, because you're going to put something very hot in this glass, so you need it not to break when you do that. Yeah, I mean, hopefully you've learned that lesson by now, that if you put hot things in a cold cup, that they burst and they break, but... I don't want you to learn it on this very important morning when you're probably already stressed out about that turkey. Yeah. So, we have barely enough in here for a hot toddy, and that is what I call fate. 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 You have to really appreciate the little things in life and find the divine in the everyday. That's what I think. <laughs> life philosophy. Life philosophy. Obviously, this is a huge um, promo because what is this? I don't know. What is that? Oh my gosh, it's simple goodness syrups. I hear the girls who own that are really attractive. <laughs> Definitely. Hot. Like once a month, they're attractive. Once a month when they do their makeup and their hair. Um, but yeah. It's ours. <laughs> that wasn't clear. So simple goodness syrups. This is the huckleberry spruce tip flavor, and the spruce tip has a natural kind of citrus flavor. It's not resiny. It doesn't taste like a Christmas tree like people no. think when they hear spruce but tip. But it was grown on a farm. It was grown on a farm. It is good for holiday drinks, but it is not a Christmas tree in a glass. It is a little bit of a citrus flavor that that spruce tip adds. We are talking through the chaos, people. Stay with us. We're all here. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Just make that drink, and then everything. 
going to get better. Okay, you can do a quarter ounce of that. Or if you like a sweeter cocktail, you can do up to a half ounce. Like me, I like it sweet. So this one's for me. And I don't have enough for two. It's not going to make you Okay, huckleberries, we The huckleberry is that really yummy berry flavor. It's tart. It's a Pacific Northwest um, native plant. It's like so. a tartar blueberry if you don't have huckleberries. Yeah, right. if you don't have huckleberries in like Florida, order this and then you will. Yeah. You will. You'll have it right in your fridge. It's so good. Okay, so this week, you're going to add a little bit of bitters. This is orange bitters. In our last video, we did a very long talk about how much we love yeah, go bitter watch the last one. So go watch the last one because. I love, love them, them, but I don't want the whole thing to be like, oh my gosh, do you like Jen and Dan? Yeah, they like Jen and Dan. Okay, we get it. So, <laughs> this, orange bitters from them. They have a website. Two dashes, or one. One dash, one sorry. dash. I don't like a lot of bitters in my hot toddy. Uh, like. Hayes is going to town on this fancy ice that I made, which is intended for the next drink, but whatever keeps the baby happy, yeah. you know? Okay. You're gonna go for a big squeeze of lemon. So this is like a sixth of a lemon, to be precise. Okay. 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 And just squeeze that right in there. So is it a problem with the seeds get in there? Do you care? Because I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'd say that's a personal preference. Yeah. Okay. So the lemon squeeze. The lemon is. Um, we're not. We're snickety. We're not. We're snickety. Um, the lemon is gonna kind of play off of that spruce tip flavor. Uh, add that, you know, citrus component. The simple okay, syrup is going to take the place of the traditional honey in a hot toddy. And then you're going to add that, that is Gigi. Gigi just want to run by. Cameo appearance. Can you please help me, assistant Venice? Oh, yes. This is my one job. One job. Don't mess it up. You better hold that down. That thing sometimes pops up. Can you? Uh -huh. Is it too hot? I don't know. That job. Hayes over here is making something entirely different and new and probably delicious. Baby mixologist. Henry is a helicopter. Oh, that smells so good. It smells delicious. So all the above, all that stuff comes together, and then I like to stir it with a cinnamon stick. Nothing oh, says that you can like a cinnamon stick. It's fancy. Except for a turkey, maybe. No. Who even eats turkey? I'm having chicken cord on blue. It's such a funny joke. I, that's one of those jokes that's very family dependent, and I'm sorry that I said it. I should have said it because you don't understand what I mean. And it's weird to eat chicken cordon bleu on Thanksgiving. Let's all just agree on that. Yes, I can agree. Okay. Pretty cinnamon stick, lemon, so good. Oh, nothing happened. I just put him down. That's good. Okay, so what I like about this toddy, because I actually don't like toddies. What? I know, I know, sacrilege. Wait, this but is I why I put it down. It keeps growing uh, out of the bourbon bottle. Because usually it just tastes like you worked up whiskey, which I love whiskey, but not that much. Um, but I mean, when you add the syrup, syrup to it, it makes it really good. then it's my kind of toddy. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's easy to drink. Yeah. It's gonna be like a ten ounce eleven eighth or eight thirty a.m. with a soda. Mm -hmm. um, it's got great flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm not it's quite where I get the point where you're ready for just straight whiskey. No, no, no not me. Okay, unless yes. you're drinking out of a mug. <laughs> Cheers, dear. Okay, but we should have grandma try because she's the real, the real test of a good toddy. Okay, like. hot toddy. Grandma, Gigi, do the honors. Is it a hot toddy? It is a hot toddy. It is a hot toddy. Yeah. Oh, all right. Toddy, toddy, gosh almighty. I told you she was a fan. Now that's a real hot toddy. That's good. <laughs> <real hot toddy. laughs> we Very didn't hot. even tell her to Gigi, say that. I know. I know. Why do you like it, Gigi? Oh, She's talking to Elastigirl, just yeah. real quick. Is that right? Oh, oh nope. Never mind. She's gone. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Thanksgiving morning cocktail. This one's for you and your Pandora radio station. And, and I hope it's a little bit more peaceful than our just yeah. Wednesday night. night. <laughs> out for... Uh, more gravy that you don't need and make him take the kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then drink this and just bask in that quiet, like 20 minutes of like just you, your music, and your toddy, toddy. Bye now. Stop. And if he says stop to you, you need to stop. Okay?